My name is Matei Harangozo. I'm the uh, Chief Innovation Officer of Green New It, responsible for a lot of our, our uh, innovation, technology, and digital communication. I'm Jason Gennati, uh, co-founder and chief communicating officer at Green New It, and I focus on relationships and company culture. I'm Josh Notes, uh, co-founder and managing partner here at Green New It, and I focus on the operations of the business as well as our strategic partnerships and how those play into the future of our business. Growing up here in Columbia, I was heavily influenced by now the largest company in the world, Apple. They put computers in our computer labs um, by us trading in giant receipts. And I didn't understand what they were there for at the time. And I still don't really exactly understand what we did. We played a couple games on those computers. Uh, Oregon Trail. Oregon Trail oh, yeah. and, and Logo, where you move this little turtle around. But the point is now, you know, 50% of those kids have one of their products in their pocket at all points in time. And I think that influenced us early. Even when we were a startup, we had you know, zero marketing dollars, but we said, where could we get the word out where a decade from now, two decades from now, the work that we've done will influence the decision makers? And we said, look, let's start as early as possible where they're not jaded by politics and they get common sense. And I tell you, you know, thanks to, to Jason and uh, his wife Carly and her background as a primary um, school educator, you know, we went in the first time to a middle school and we got we got some applauses, but we also got some laughs at us. And we kind of had to reboot and focus it down another four or five years um, and get the messaging right. But that, that first time that we did our, our school's presentation at our elementary school, the results were amazing. You know, the kids were standing up, standing ovation, um, screaming, you know, let's make common sense together. Like, it wasn't hard to figure out that we were on to something uh, step one when when the kids reacted with the elementary school students it is a very exciting awareness you know just energy pump type uh, situation I think when we get to the middle school age it's more touch and feel experiment learn you know learn by doing type uh, engagement that will build traction and at a high school level I think we're talking more skills development workforce development and and beyond so I think there's different approaches for different ages it's certainly not a one-size-fits-all but I will say that uh, what we've done is frame what we do in the eyes of an elementary schooler as we're energy detectives and we can come into your home and figure out what's going on to help you guys save more money, have a more comfortable home, and help protect your environment, and that resonates. And you know, the kids understand what a detective is, they'd love to have that detective come in their house, teach them about their home. So we've basically taken a science project and wrapped it around our business model and told the kids, if you're interested, you know, here's how to sign up. And then we actually fundraise for the schools that helps them promote uh, green schools and STEM education, go on field trips, plant gardens, and really bring everything full circle. So the question in the, in the industry, especially residential energy auditing, where we have the energy detective model, and I might be giving away a huge secret here, but we're, we're okay with that, is that you know, when you say, okay, we're trying to go from 150 units a month to 250 units a month, and that would be a great volume in a region, but what we're asking ourselves is, how do you do 10,000 in a month? You know, how do you really change the game? And, and the answer is that as these younger kids get older and have the skills and the awareness, you're gonna have a, a, a community of people who can assess themselves. You don't need to you know, have a company come in and tell them what to do to improve. You have the education built into the community and that's how you're able to attack such a, a, a much more broad swath of territories because the people who are living there know what to do with their uh, properties as opposed to needing a professional, which is kind of where the industry is now, is that the, the knowledge is very uh, uh, siloed in, in terms of you're going to need a professional come in right now but in the future we're seeing that the younger generation as they grow they're going to have that skill set so the masses know what to do. This region is hot obviously from a energy price standpoint, political standpoint as well as innovation within the grid. Um, we do have the most advanced smart grid in the world and that's really a big part of our end game is how do we control those power loads and make sure that we are reducing volatility across the grid as a, at a macro level so that we can at, advance the, the percentage of renewables that are online. That, that really solves the problem long term, but it's going to take probably another you know, five to ten decades to get all the way there. Um, but we know that those incremental changes are the ones where we've got to get our, 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 our hands dirty, roll up our sleeves, and kind of go one house at a time or one building at a time to get them onto the smart grid and um, make sure it's economically viable. And I think we you know we have uh, also two ideas of uh, scaling, or two different mentalities. One way to scale is according to you know, traditional business rules, 
You have to have enough resources or uh, enough business in a certain region to get into it and expand, understand the different, you know, um, uh, little things that make it work in a separate region. Another way is to offer information, uh, things that we believe in to create future fans of Green New. We do it through education, as we said, you know, we're creating our future fans and people that understand what it means to use energy and how to use it better. We're also um, launching uh, G Vitamins uh, YouTube channel, which talks about things that we believe in, how to, you know, research the newest mobile technology that helps you with your house, how to eat healthy, um, how to utilize your resources. So I think you know there's two, two different ways we can scale because we can provide this information and distribute it out there through these airways, which are now available more than you know never before, YouTube, Facebook, and so forth. Anybody that's at this point English speaking anywhere around the world can tap into what we believe in, can tap into what we are providing for a local community. If they become the fans of it, you know, then we can figure out a different market and how to expand to those. Thank you.